good morning, afternoon or evening and welcome to Snufkin, Melody of Moomin Valley where we are kind of running around Moomin Valley as Snufkin here looking for Moomin Troll who we were supposed to go and meet so are we going this way then? Um, how do we go forward here? Do we need to backtrack? Oh. Didn't even notice that at first. Can we, we can't jump on the lily pads. Okay then. Another hideous park blocking my way. No shoes. Can't have that. We're also getting inspiration by uh, removing these signs. No, um, is that no flowers or? She's upset. One of her ducklings seem to be stuck over there. Maybe there are more. Poor thing. Don't worry. I will keep you company while the heroic Snufkin saves your ducklings. The lost baby birds. Find all the baby birds and return them to their mother. Okay. There's one. Do we have more? Oh yeah, you can pull objects by pressing and holding Y while walking. Okay. There's one. Okay, we've got two now. How many of you guys are lost over here? Oh, I guess, can we, is this like a fishing spot? It is. So we don't actually catch anything, we just, uh, just fish. So, do we have more than two of you? I guess I could go take a look down here. I guess there's more than two. 
reunited with her mother. What a joy. She still seems upset. Maybe there are more of her ducklings around. Okay. That's a lot of water. Mm. Let's see if we can find the others without having to make like a super long bridge over there. me oh need a bit of a stepping stone um that's the button i was looking for follow me little birdie we're going to find your mama. There we go. Dee Dee. What a wonderful sound. Dee Dee. I moved to tears. Maybe that could be your name. Dee Dee? Didi, that makes me so happy. Almost too happy. Hmm. How about Didi Woo? A happy start with a sad tail. Didi Woo, happy, sad, and beautiful. Like life itself. I love it. I shall no longer be known as he who met Snufkin. I am Didi Wu, my own being, with my own responsibilities. Oh, so many responsibilities. Better get to them. I'll be needing a mailbox and bills. Oh, so many bills. What's that? A key? And so we named the nameless creature and found a key. And here there's a lock. So, um, I guess we're going here. Remove the signs. All right. Ah, so we can hide. This is like a proper stealth mission where we need to hide in the bushes and that park keeper has put up stat statues of himself ah so we need to topple the statues Nothing here. And that guy kind of looks around there. Hide in the bush and when he's looking the other way. So, um... What do we do with this one, then? Well, 
we know what we do with this. Topple it. And I guess we need that sign next. There we go. Huh. You're just standing there. That bird is awfully quiet. Maybe I should play for it. Aha, uh -huh, so the bird distracted. Him. And now, oh. Okay. No shoe signs. I'm just going to wait till he uh, goes that way again and remove the no looking sign. There we go. So what now? Inspiration. No looking sign here too. And obviously we gotta get past him somehow. The bird is going to distract on that one. But duh, how do we get behind or like past him? Well, maybe we need to get through that gate first. Oh. Oops. There we go. Open gate. Ah. Again. Get rid of sign. Alright, so what do we do here then? Uh, is this one of those singing birds or one of those birds that we need to use to knock somebody out? Oops. So we gotta have that guy up there knocked out while the other one looks elsewhere to get that. Alright, did it? I think that's what we needed to do there. Oops. Let's just uh, block your eyesight a bit. There. That's all of them. Nice. Good riddance. Just wait till Moomin Troll hears about this. I think we already checked all of these bushes. We're in Spo, didn't we? Yeah, just making sure.
What about up here? There's a sign. One that we can't read. I guess it's just a sign that tells us that we need to go this way. As a child, I never really realized how, like, anti-establishment this game, well, both game and the Moomin Valley cartoon is. Um, but yeah, all the kind of authority figures, like the police and, uh, well, basically any figure with authority uh, are portrayed as um, something to rebel against. And yeah, as a child you don't really, or I didn't really, think about these things all that much, but as an adult it's kind of uh, super obvious that uh, the Moomins are a very anti-authority, anti-establishment kind of thing. Oh, hello, friend. Thank you. Mm, inspo. No inspo. these bushes either. And here's another worm friend. Thank you. Oh, here we go. Thanks so much, worm friends. Inspo? Nope. Um, what do we do here? Oh, put this, um, to the other end, right? Mm. I kind of wanted to go and see if there are more inspo bushes, but I guess I can't get off this log now. Oh, I can. Cool. <laughs> there were two inspo bushes here. Would have totally missed them both if I hadn't figured out a way to get off that log. This one we need to make a bridge out of. Ooh, music changed. Inspo. Um, more inspo. And what do we have here? <gasps> Moomin Mama. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hello, Snuffkin dear. I just woke up from my winter slumber. Mm -hmm. Moomin Troll seems to have woken up before us. He's probably waiting for you by the bridge. How are you, Moomin Mama? Oh. Well, I was looking forward to tending to my flowers, but they're all dried out. Mm -hmm. But don't you worry about that. Go see your friend now. All right. Aww.
Oh, we've got a map here, actually. The green hat shows where we are at. And uh, then the exclamation points are quest markers. So currently we've got a quest on the bridge there, probably to go meet Moomin Troll. And I guess we've got a couple of parks marked on the map as well. Okay. So, um, obviously I'm also going to run around looking for inspo. Moomin Papa. Somebody left the window open. My masterpiece blown all over the val valley. And if that wasn't enough, my boat is gone as well. Now where is that Moomin Troll? He's probably to blame for both. Do I have to write a new masterpiece? Is it even possible? Well, if anybody could do it, it would be me. But my boat, it'll take forever to build a new one. Hi, Moomin Papa. How are you? I just woke up and already there's a million things on my mind. Uh. My masterpiece gone, and so is my boat. You finished your play. Congratulations. Have you seen Moomin Troll? <laughs> oh, isn't he here? Hmm, he's probably waiting for you by the bridge. Um. When you see him, tell him to keep the window shut. My theatrical masterpiece has blown all over the va valley. Maybe he knows where my boat is as well. I'll be sure to keep an eye out for your play, and the boat. The missing boat. What can have happened to it? Can we go into... no. Inspo bushes? Can't go into the Moomin house. I don't know if that's what it's called in English. I'm just translating kind of a uh, word for word here because um I don't know what they have decided to call these things in English. May not actually be word for word translations from their names in Finnish. Can't get into that garden there. But there are some inspo bushes here, so I'm glad I came back here. Okay. Uh, moving on. Inspo. The sign points, the old bridge is right this way. Yeah, the sign points this way. So is this the way we're supposed to go? We've got like a little woodshed over here. No inspo in those bushes and there's an invisible wall preventing me going further right from here. It is looking kind of bleak here and there's the bridge. I'm just going to quickly run up here and see. Got an ant hill there. No inspo. And the those bushes I think we already checked. So, I don't see Moomin Troll here. Wow. 
what? The river is gone and Moomin Girl isn't here. What's happened? Uh oh. I must find out what has happened to Moomin Troll. And the river, it can't just disappear. Moomin Troll is missing. Hopefully all is well. I know what happened to Moomin Troll. I saw it with my own eyes. Little Moo. Took you long enough to get here, Snufkin. <laughs> Was there a butterfly somewhere in desperate need of being appreciated? <laughs> a majestic waterfall having to be taken in? Hello, little Moo. Did you say something happened to Moomin Troll? <laughs> oh, yes. A most horrible fate. Mm. Moomin was sleeping his lazy winter slumber, not a care in the world. Ah. Quite selfish, if you ask me. Then, suddenly, she appeared. The Groak. <laughs> Eyeing Moomin Troll with monstrous intent and hideous envy. Uh -huh. She took him and ran into the forest. Poor Moomin Troll kicking and screaming. You saw that with your own eyes? Uh huh. I had to run for my own life, but that's the gist of it. So you probably won't be seeing him again. <laughs> Is little Mood telling the truth? I better go investigate. Did the Groke take Moomin Troll? Seek out the Groke and find out. Yeah, little Moo is a bit of a troublemaker and uh, can't always be quite um, trusted. The Frosty Trail is leading this way. I wonder if I should have gone like north and investigated kind of beyond the ant hill. Oh well, I guess we're following the frosty trail. I mean, this is an open world sort of thing and we can always go back, right? The frosty trail in... Oh, it continues here. Gotcha. Ooh. Ugh, more police officers. Hmm, maybe they could actually help out. Why yes, this will be a magnificent park indeed. We just need to get rid of a few more trees and other annoyances. Luckily, she is gone. Thanks to the wisdom of our great leader. Yes, the park keeper is indeed wise. Removing the forest also removed those pesky animals. And instead, we'll have these beautiful parks for all citizens to enjoy. Well, not all citizens. Well, of course not. And definitely not enjoy. That goes without saying. Perhaps behold would be more fitting. Indeed, 
some citizens will be allowed to behold this beautiful park. Within limits, of course. Yes, there shall be no indulgence. No overindulging in nature, that would make a great sign. Great sign indeed. Let's chop down some more trees to make more signs. Ah, nature is so delightfully quiet when you've gotten rid of it. Those pesky birds are finally gone too. Yes, but a lot of earthworms have started appearing since then. The park keeper will surely find some way to get rid of them too. How? I don't know. I'm not the park keeper, but perhaps... Cement? A most beautiful substance. Grey. Easy on the eyes. Cement. Then we would have to cut the grass. Wouldn't have to cut the grass. Ever. A dream. Perhaps one day reality. Have you seen my friend Mooming Troll? I think he has been kidnapped by the Groke. Hey. Nobody's allowed on the building site. No Moomin Trolls, no animals. Uh -hmm. And certainly no Grokes. Now be gone. We have important work to do. Forget it. I'll figure this out myself. So yeah, they weren't exactly helpful. Oh yeah, this park is not complete yet, so... Uh, these animals look distressed. We can only destroy completed parks. What's going on? You, uh, want to talk about it? Even my, uh, magical music isn't helping. No inspo bushes either. Gotta roll this out of the way. Do we just leave it there? Ooh, inspo. Running. The frosty trail leads here. Seems like the Groke went this way. Ah, running is faster, but it consumes our stamina. So... A lot of fallen... Trees. It's getting colder here. The Groke must be around. Oh yeah, so the Grok is um, a very cold entity who freezes everything it touches. At least in uh, in the cartoon, it was that way. Footprints? Could they be Moomin trolls? Can't get into that bush. Invisible wall. And a loading screen. Behind you! Do we have to, like, r r run away from it? Oh, wait. Oops. <laughs> I didn't realize we could run that way. <laughs> I hope we can try again from the same... 
Yeah, we can. For some reason, I'm going really slowly there. I guess it... Oh. Oh. I gotta remember that those are spaces where we can run. It's just a space where there's no grass. So I guess we can't run over it, but we can run over these spaces where there is grass. The Grok isn't slowed down by this though. Uh, where are we going? Oh. Oh, I should have jumped up onto that fallen um, tree trunk or whatever that was. Gotta start from all the way back here. <laughs> okay. So be ready to jump onto the tree trunk thingy. Gotta go under it. Uh, push that out of the way. Yeah. If I have to try this like very, very, very many times, I may just cut out some of the failed attempts because. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's very much fun for you to watch me fail at this, like, over and over again. Oh, I almost got it. So I need to pull it to the side. Okay, okay. Got it. I wonder if I can just push it out of the way without... Like, in, instead of pulling it to the side. Maybe that's something I could try as well. So... Up here. And then... Oh yeah, that's what I need to do. And then run below there. And then climb up here. And he can't follow us, right? Oh, goodness. So that part... Oh, Moomin Troll, clumsy old friend. That part where we had to run from the Grok... I don't think that was very faithful to the cartoon. Oh! Oh gosh! She's back! <laughs> I preferred the uh, peaceful parts. Oh, right. 
right. Push that aside. Push that to make a bridge. Moomin draw has got to be this way. Oh, got it, got it, got it. No inspo. <laughs> supposed to keep ahead of the grog there. Seems impossible. To stay ahead there. Like, how am I supposed to do this? Where do we go from here? Ah, oh, just this way. a dead end. Over here. Uh, it's our friend. Thank you for that. I thought I was done for. Oh, it's a hedgehog. I thought it was our the one that we met before. Didi Wu. Did the grog scare you? She's attracted to your lamp. She's harmless, really. Your friend Moomintral realized that. So, Moomintral was here? He sure was. Moomintral came here, side by side with the Grok. Seeing the devastated forest, he tried talking to the police, but they sent him off. And that's the last I saw of him. So, Mumintral was here, with the Grog, but voluntarily? Sweet Mumintral, how typical. And how typical of little Mu to exaggerate everything. What is that? Smoke? Better investigate. Uh, yeah, we found the Grog. So I... I was thinking that the Grog really isn't evil and... And the Grog wouldn't chase anybody like that. So I'm glad that the hedgehog here confirmed that in this game as well, the Grog is actually a harmless creature and, um, and not one that you really need to be afraid of. Because in the cartoon as well, Grog was just misunderstood and uh, misjudged and not really evil or bad in any way at all. It's just that, you know, whatever he touched turned into ice or froze. And, uh, it wasn't intentional from him, I don't think. So yeah, he wasn't really 
or isn't really evil and he totally wouldn't chase you through the forest like that. But um, anyway, we will uh, investigate the smoke in the next episode and uh, see if we can find Moomin Troll. That got pretty intense there, <laughs> having to run through the forest um, with the Grok behind us. So uh, I'm looking forward to something a bit more peaceful next time. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what exactly happens. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and spending a little of your time with me here today. If you like this video, please leave it a like. I would really love that. And also, please remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you again next time.